Next, next up, Ala Ferg of Smart Light Control from Estonia. Welcome to EcoSummit. Hello, nice to see that there's still some, some city, people left. City Intel. City Intel, yes. City Intel. Yeah. So there, there has been some, some talks about uh, smart lighting earlier, and, and, and Mr. Royal Falav gave a very good, very good presentation with uh, very good perspectives, what it gives to us. I will give a bit more closer look what it is, actually. So basically, why we need it. It's so difficult to do the power pitch. We have been, we have been looking and trying to find the, find, find the way, but actually what is our power pitch is that, that uh, we use uh, uh, next generation uh, wireless networking technology. But when we uh, look at the core problem, the core problem is that uh, current street light installations, they are very, uh, very inefficient and they waste a lot, of, uh, a lot of electricity, a lot of money, uh, according to this. We can uh, change uh, streetlight installations into the LEDs and save 40% of energy. However, it, this is only the part of the solution because we don't need full lights when there is nobody on the street. So I think the smart control, which one can really understand the conditions, when we need a light, uh, we can achieve savings up to 80, 85, even sometimes to 90% uh, comparing to the existing solutions. So why don't we have all this kind of... Uh, uh, nice uh, smart street lights around us. And there is a, uh, one, one very uh, big problem with them. Uh, they are technically complex. Uh, they are complex to install. Uh, they, they are very, uh, very expensive. And, and, and also the maintenance is expensive of these solutions. There are many of them in the market, but still uh, not widely adopted. In Citintel, we have created a new generation solution where we use uh, uh, next generation wireless mesh network technology where all the devices are on the same hierarchical level. There are no more master and slave relationship. All devices can communicate directly with each other and, and not only on communication level, but also on application level. It means that, uh, uh, that one device can give a command to other devices uh, and uh, at the same time, can fulfill commands from other devices, and not only from one device, but can react differently uh, depending on the device they get commands. So basically, the street light can, can act differently to the command which comes from movement detector than to the command which one comes from uh, uh, road surface reflection uh, uh, detector. So we can really build a, a dynamic solution which one really understands the local conditions. Is there uh, is there movement on the street? Uh, what kind of weather there is? Is the road wet or, or is, it, uh, is it dry or is it snowing? So we can adjust the light levels uh, based on that. And, and the beauty in this is that it's really true plug and play wireless network. We only ship the devices, uh, they come into the range, we power them on, they come into the radio range and they start to communicate with each other. So we, we drop all the, all the installation cost and, and network configuration cost, which is the big part of, of existing solutions. So this really brings us into the position in the market where we can bring those solutions into the mass market. So it's, uh, uh, it will be uh, economically viable as well for, for the cities to install uh, this solution. At the moment, we sell our hardware with reasonable price, uh, with, uh, with payback period in Germany, here in Germany, with electricity cost. Uh, it's less than two years in some countries where it's where electricity cost is lower, it's, it's longer payback period. And, and we also uh, charge in the future yearly maintenance fee per device. So we ensure that, uh, that the software is up on date uh, and also the security is uh, on update and, and that everything works. To come to the market, we use uh, LED streetlight manufacturers as they already have uh, established uh, uh, sales network and also knowledge on the market. So we don't deal directly with end customers at the moment, and we don't need to hire so many people. We have uh, cooperation with different, uh, different manufacturers already in different countries, and we're negotiating with, uh, with many others, including uh, Austrian, for instance, here in Germany. However, starting from 2016, we see that we can bring the cost down so much that, uh, that we can start to offer rental model, and which will be also useful for existing street lights just to monitor and reduce the maintenance cost and, and uh, together with these carbon emissions as well, which one uh, 
um, reduces our dependency on, on, on aluminum manufacturers and also widens a little bit our customer possible customer base. And the beauty on this is that in this case we will own the wireless network which allows us to, to build additional services based on the same network, additional smart city services. Uh, we started in Estonia, came into the market about a year ago, a bit more than a year ago. We had first installations there. Uh, and since, uh, from the beginning of this year, we came into the international market. We have installations in Finland, uh, here in Germany, in southern Germany. And on these days, uh, there are ongoing installations of luminaires, smart luminaires in, in Denmark as well. Uh, but however, we have built also the pipeline of projects. It's, uh, it's not a very fast-moving market. Uh, municipalities are not really the, uh, the fastest decision makers, but we have a, a nice pipeline together with our luminar partners and ourselves as well, not only in Europe, but also we have some agreements uh, to, towards Asia. Overall market looks, looks promising for us, as uh, shows the research made by Bike Research. Uh, that by 2020, the overall market only for control solutions, street light control solutions, will be 1 billion. And we want to be a part of it. We have a great team with extensive uh, business development uh, experience, uh, operations de uh, experience, and also engineering experience. We also, we, uh, besides the core team, we also use outsource engineering force as well. So what we see on the market, we see that the next couple of years, it's still mainly, mainly pilot's market. Uh, there will, will not be many large installations uh, because we are dependent also on, on ad adoption rate of, uh, of uh, LED street lights at the moment. Uh, so we establish us in the market, but we see already that 2017, we will be in, in break even. And by 2020, we generate more revenue from rental model than from, uh, uh, than from uh, hardware sales. So this is our goal really to go into the recurring revenue model. We have made a quite concrete plan. What we will do next, next year, so of course, this could be changed a little bit based on the information what we get in the market. But mainly in the next two years, we, this year, next year, we concentrate on the, on the certain uh, European countries. Uh, where is the, really the high electricity cost? And uh, from 2016, we see that, that we are ready to go to Chinese market as well. And yeah, we're currently raising 300,000 and then end of next year, some three to five million a round. Uh, because we need to expand our existing sales network. So mainly it goes to the sales network and a little bit product development because uh, yeah, currently we're selling kind of commercial prototype, but we have to optimize the production cost. So we have to redesign a little bit our hardware. So if anyone wants to be a part of this, uh, this story, please let me know. Thank you very much. Okay, you. I want to apologize once again for no the delay. No you you I'm managed not it in well. Hurry. Okay. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> okay. Do you have revenue already? Yes. Yes. How much? We, it's uh, it's hard to say because uh, yeah we have. Uh, it's not yet in the bank. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, we, we, uh, with suddenly it's happened, you know, with our Finnish partner, they, they went bankrupt, so they, they didn't pay the pills. <laughs> Meanwhile, but yes, actually, we, all the installation we have, they are, uh, they are paid by the customers, so we haven't given away anything for free. Yeah, for some samples for aluminum manufacturers, the single ones, but all the up and running installations, they are, uh, they are, they are paid by the customers. Okay, good. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, two more pitches.